Hey friends, my name is Rich Velotis. I'm the lead pastor of New Life Fellowship Church in New York City and the author of Good and Beautiful and Kind. The verse of the day is found in John 13, verse 34, and this is what it says. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. When Jesus speaks these words, he's preparing to leave his disciples about to head to the cross. And as he does so, he wants to leave them important words, letting them know what's most important in his kingdom. And in a word, it is love. It's easy to think that Christianity is about the maintaining of rules, that the essence of Christianity is about avoiding the bad stuff and giving yourself to the good stuff. But at the essence of Christianity is love. Christianity at its core is a spirituality of love and it's God's number one desire for us that we would grow in love. Jesus says, I give you a new commandment to love one another. The question is, what's the old commandment? And if I could explain it this way, this is what Jesus is doing. In that day, there was one command that said, do not do unto others what you do not want them to do unto you. Jesus would later adjust that teaching, flipping it and saying, do unto others what you want them to do unto you. But now Jesus is adding one more layer to this where he says, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. How does Jesus love us? Deeply, passionately, wholeheartedly. And that's what he calls his followers to do. And the question is, how do we do that? How do we love each other like Jesus loves us? And I think the answer is very simple. We are called to prayerfully meditate and contemplate and allow ourselves to be loved by Jesus and as we do so, that power becomes available to us to love our neighbors in the way that he loves us. It's not easy, but it is possible. Amen. To God, Yahuwah, be the glory. Through Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, my Lord. Amen. <laughs>